In the Northwest, much of our food and electricity that lights our homes is tied to the Columbia and Snake River dams. But dams create a challenge for our iconic Pacific salmon, who also rely on our rivers and streams for life. We all need food and electricity, but we also want our salmon to survive. Is there a way to have both? Let's take a close look at what's being done here at McNary Dam to help our Pacific salmon. Few migrations are as spectacular as that of Pacific salmon. Juvenile salmon, called smolt, begin their lives in cool mountain streams. At a young age, they begin their travel to the food-rich Pacific Ocean, where they mature into adult salmon. These adult salmon start for home in the Columbia River. They battle rapids, jump waterfalls, and face natural predators like birds and sea lions. After living most of their lives in the ocean, the adult fish return home to the freshwater streams of their birth in order to spawn and start the next generation of Pacific salmon. It's a grueling journey that requires traveling hundreds, sometimes thousands of miles. And it's a unique life cycle that has been happening for millennia. When people began living along the river, Salmon became a prized food resource in the Pacific Northwest. Native Americans have long relied on them for food, as well as a spiritual link to the natural world. For thousands of years, tribes and salmon coexisted, with no substantial changes to salmon habitat or their populations. That all changed with the coming of Euro-Americans in the mid-1800s. After centuries of sustainable harvest by Native Americans, Canneries were established along the Columbia River. They harvested millions of salmon to supply a growing demand for fish. Soon, salmon populations in the river began to plummet. Over the years, forestry, grazing, and mining further impaired salmon habitat. In a matter of decades, the once thriving salmon populations of the Pacific Northwest were drastically reduced. The salmon life cycle had been disrupted for fish fighting to survive in altered habitat and swim upriver to spawning grounds, they faced another new challenge, dams. The mighty Columbia River is one of the largest rivers in the nation. No other North American river sends more water to the Pacific Ocean which makes it an ideal waterway for salmon migration, shipping, and for generating hydroelectric power. In the 20th century, Congress gave authority to the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers to construct dams on the lower Columbia River to provide commercial navigation locks, recreation opportunities, and affordable hydropower to homes and businesses. McNary Dam construction was completed in 1954. And because it is a run of the river dam, crossing the entire river channel, it also includes ways for fish to travel both up and downstream. At McNary, adult salmon traveling upriver use the fish ladders to return to their spawning grounds. Once they reach the cool, freshwater streams where their lives began, the adult female salmon build nests, called reds, and lay their eggs, while the male salmon fertilize the eggs. Having started the life cycle for the next generation, adult salmon soon die and decay, which helps supply the river with nutrients that feed the young salmon. These young smolts go with the flow of the river and travel downstream. Unlike adults headed upstream, they do not use the fish ladders to get past the dam. 
juveniles have multiple options to help their migration to the ocean. In the spring, the staff change spill patterns to allow juvenile salmon to go over the dam using special spillway weirs. These weirs allow juveniles to pass over the dam spillway more safely. Other juvenile salmon will be guided through the dam. A metal screen guides the fish away from the turbine intakes to a bypass channel. They are returned to the river through the bypass outfall pipe, which gives them a ride to the middle of the river downstream from the dam, which helps them avoid predators. Some are diverted to a juvenile fish facility, where biologists examine them for health, condition, size, and species, and then safely return them to the river. These water passages help salmon more easily get past McNary Dam on their trip to the Pacific Ocean. Pacific salmon are a defining natural resource in the Columbia River Basin. Their life cycle migration is one of nature's most amazing feats, contributing to rebuilding salmon runs while continuing to provide for the needs of a growing human population is a complex balance. By adapting and evolving, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers is proving that there are ways to have both the benefits of the dams and the highly valued iconic Pacific salmon.